soldering pieces on a circuit board before covering the mini system created with a plastic case. This is the production of low energy consumption stick computers that can be used even by people without formal education. Their goal is to make computers accessible to any African, especially those without a steady supply of electricity. All one needs is a screen. This school in a Kampala suburb acquired the microfuse device on a pilot basis as an alternative to the much more expensive conventional computers on the market. We found that as a school, a kindergarten school, we don't hire people who are so much good in IT knowledge. We hire people who are not so much exposed, but that we want to do computer work. So in so doing, this kind of technology has enabled my staff right from the teacher to the cashier to myself, the director, to use this computer. It's been very easy for all of us. But these computers can work in such remote areas where solar energy is available. The founder, Ivan Karugaba, was inspired by the frustration of always needing electricity to power a computer. As an engineer, I thought, how about uh, if me from maybe a middle-income family I'm having such a problem, the cost of acquisition, yet at, at a university you need to do reports, you need to do submissions of coursework, sometimes you need to do research. How about a student who is from a low-income family? As they explore possibilities in the virtual world, they are eyeing the Africa continental free trade area to remain competitive. The team in this workshop is working days ahead of a mass release in October when they will push out 10,000 devices. The market is expectant, although, according to the National Bureau of Statistics, only 2% of Ugandans have access to computers. There is hope that with these devices, the majority who've never seen a computer in Uganda can finally use one. This light-duty machine is a major step in Uganda's slow journey to a computerized era. Razia Athman for African News in Kampala, Uganda.